Uh, we're going to have to worry about some clouds and some more rain on Sunday, preparing for the lunar eclipse Sunday night. But we're watching a few showers and storms right now as well. You can see down in Newton Grove, this is northern Sampson County. We all know that because I 40 cuts right through that on our way to the beach. So heavy rain with thunder and lightning there, slowly moving up to the north. And we have kind of a broken line of showers and storms, starting over here around Rocky Mountain, Wilson, kind of winding down through that storm I just showed you in northern Sampson County. Some scattered showers and storms in and around Cumberland County, also over toward Hoke and Moore County. So all of that is slowly moving to the north. So a lot of us are going to see some passing showers and thunderstorms tonight. Remember, severe weather not in the conversation. So I know we had a tornado a week ago. Not tonight. Hail, damaging wind, not part of the showers and storms moving through, but a heavy downpour and thunder and lightning can ruin your Friday night. So play it safe out there and try to stay cool. It sure did get warmer today, more humid as well. After being in the 60s yesterday, we're 78 right now in Wake Forest. It's 74 in Durham. You guys in Holly Springs, 76. Warmer, yes, but still below average, just a little bit for this time of year. We've got mid 70s down in the Sand Hills as well. And we'll stay in the 70s through about 8 o'clock. Then we'll drop to and kind of hold in the 60s overnight. Mostly cloudy skies will stick with us. We'll see a few peaks of sunshine the next couple hours before the sun sets. And then our rain chances, you can see, they'll be around through the overnight hours. Could have a little bit of fog again to start tomorrow morning. So our winds turn more to the south today. Remember, all week long, that coastal low brought us northerly winds. Today, southerly winds warmed us up and it redeposited some humidity back in our area. That dew point temperature averaged out in the 60s today. You felt it, I felt it. It's muggy outside again. And now that coastal low will eventually move inland and fall apart over the weekend. But as it does, it's going to throw us some warmer air. It's going to throw us a couple more rounds of showers and storms. So let's walk through the next 48 hours together. I want to start it tonight about 10. So it's not going to rain all night. You can see there will be some isolated showers, but it's not a washout overnight. And again, we don't have that threat of severe weather, but you might hear a heavy downpour in the middle of the night. This is future cast about 2 or 3 a.m. tomorrow morning. And then for the morning daylight hours, Saturday, we'll start off with a couple of isolated showers. We'll see some sunshine. Morning time, definitely the drier part of the day. Here we are at lunchtime. Then as we get into the afternoon, we're going to heat up to around 80 thanks to some sunshine, but also some isolated showers and storms once again popping up through the evening hours. Different story on Sunday. It will be even warmer. But once again, we'll start off with dry weather in the morning. We'll keep it that way through lunchtime and then watch as a few isolated showers and storms pop up late afternoon into the evening hours on Sunday. So our temperatures will be warmer this weekend. 81 tomorrow, 86 on Sunday, 88 on Monday. Each day will have its fair share of showers and thunderstorms. Cold front comes through Monday night temporarily cools us off Tuesday and Wednesday with some dry weather, but then your exclusive 10-day forecast has us with a big warm-up into the 90s by the end of the week and next weekend.